good and evil. I have a story here. I didn't put nothing up last weekend. So I'm going to try to put something up this week. Um, and we're going to take a break from the word Egypt. And I want to uh, do a story that I wrote. Alright. We have one and two. Okay. Can I ask you a question? That's number one. Number two. Yes, I will try to answer it. One. How can you tell if a person is good or evil? Two. I don't think you will like my answer, but here we go. The Creator God made you. Number one. I don't believe in God. Number two. You may not believe in him, but he believes in you because he made you. One. But I believe in Darwin's theory. Two. Did you know that there are other men that came up with Darwin's theory before him? One. I was not taught that in school. Two. You will find that out as you grow up. Or you keep the theory in your heart. Well, let's see if I can help with your question. Creator, Father God, made all things, even the air. You can't see it, but you know it's there. Do you know, you know what Doran's theory is on air? One, no, I don't. They did not teach that in school. I never thought about it either. Two, that's a bad thing that they do. Don't teach you for you to use your mind. It is always surrender to me teaching. Well, you can't see air, but you know it's there. That is like the Creator. He is there, and He knows you. One, but this is not telling me if I person is good or evil two well yes it does if you know your creator then you would want to please him for love one but I don't know him how can I love him two he loves you first and when you come to the realization he is your creator you will want to love him it will come natural to you, and you will want to know all about him. That is where his word comes in. That is yours and everybody's life in one book. The beginning and ending of life on this earth. He will teach you good and bad. You will know them by their fruit. You know, if a fruit is not good, some people try to be good and don't know God, and there is some that are bad people. It takes time to show how they are. The first, first impression is not the best to go by, but if you want to know the right of, ask what God they see that is the best way. We are responsible for what we say and do. And we will pray for it. And we will pay for it. I lost my place. I, see, I will not pay for what you do. But for what I do, love is a wonderful thing. It makes you want to do good to all, but sometimes you fail. 1. What makes you think God loves me? 2. The Creator God had a son named Jesus. He died on the cross for you, and you have two Jesuses. You are taught both. Let's look at the, the earthly Jesus. They say he died for you. I have to say, I think he came from the Catholic Church because of the humiliation they give the real Jesus. 
See, they say they believe in him. They say to pray to Mary. You know the same, Hail Mary, full of grace. But who is she? It really is not Mary. It is Isis. And she came out of the Egyptian religion. Have you seen the uh, preachers of the early Jesus? They portrayed he as a phallus. His stomach. <coughs> the Jews at the time and the Romans wanted to kill him. The Jesus repented the religion. Res represent the religion. And the Romans represent the government, just like they do today. They do not like him. Matthew 23, 9. Call no man father. The Catholic says you have to go to a man, and they want you to call him father. And tell him all your sins. Uh, how is this true? It, it, see, it is not. One. I can't talk no more of this. I am le I'm leaving. Time goes by. One comes back. I am sorry. I think I got confused. I always was taught the church is the one that we would teach me of God. Two. Well, they can, but they put the truth with lies together. And if you don't let the Holy Spirit lead you, you will believe the lie. Also, do you think God wants you to make other people rich and you need something? No. And if you think you have to pay tithes, then this is what I would do. Go to the gas station or a food store and help people who need it. Yes, I do have to say you have church that have food banks. You can give them some money, but I will tell you this. Say food stores, give them food that has about, that's about to expire and gives it out. And I can tell you there are stores that will just put it in the trash, especially if it is a big money maker. One, I let's see. I have all was been taught to about the old lady that gives money to the church when Jesus was alive. Is this true? Two, and she's talking about Matthew. Let's see, Mark twelve forty one through forty four. Yes, only God knows a person's heart. And say he knows her and he knows yours. At that time, people did not have like it is today. They had a the temple. And that is where they sacrificed and pray, paid tithes. The Levites was to get it all the sacrifice and tithes. That was the part in the uh, taking care of. Of the temple, Deuteronomy 18, 1 through 2. I want to learn more, but I have to go get the kids from school. I do thank you for your talk, too. Ask God in your heart and guide you in all things. Goodbye. People think there is just one Jesus, but you, but you have the real one and the earth one church teachers and the earth one thanks for watching